Animal Crossing for the Nintendo GameCube, released in 2002. This, well, for as most of you may know who have been quite, uh, you know, caught up with the series, you know what this game is, what it kind of game it is, what it entails, what it's like. I myself haven't really ever played the original, so this isn't going to be a playthrough or anything like that. This is just going to be a little look-see into the world of the very first Animal Crossing. So sit back, relax, enjoy this wonderful little journey with me. Maybe we'll learn something. Maybe we'll, we'll see the world in a different way. I don't know. We'll see. Let's begin. It's KK Slider. So, you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world. That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, it feels great. But living by yourself can be a real drag too. Still, if you've got something, some really tight friend somewhere nearby, then you know it'll all work out. Yeah, man. Friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. So, are you ready to hop on the train and go for a ride? I'm ready to go! Oh, I almost forgot. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here, too. Yeah, it would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Later. Buddy KK Slider. Oh, I recognize him. Hmm. Excuse me. Do you have a second? Could you help me out? Let's see now. It's 12:08 a.m. on a Wednesday, April 13th, 2016. That's right. Say so, thanks. You're too kind, really. You're a big help. <laughs> so, you mind if I sit here? I promise I won't fall asleep, tumble on you, and start drooling on your shirt. Whoa, hey, hey. I don't really know you, and you're already talking about, like, passing fluids on me? Coming on! Sit next to me. You're not creepy at all. Thanks again. It sure is nice meeting friendly folk on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? <laughs> Just kidding. You, what? Say, by the way, what's your name? My name is... Wait, how do I... Uh... How do I capitalize? Uh... Eh, screw it. There we go. No, not R. Darn control stick. There we go. Hmm. Well, hmm. Finches. Now that's an odd name. I thought you were going to be cool, man. You're just making fun of me. Not that my opinion means much. What What matters is, like, your name. Do you like that name, Benches? Isn't it cool? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Did I say it was odd? I... It's not odd. It's it's a great name for a boy, R really. It's a uh, it's a really great name for. <laughs> Are you trying to say or be nice to me? I don't I don't get your I don't cut, I don't get the cut of your jib. You know it. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, where are you heading? Enter destination. Time to enter the name of our town. Uh. Pop, you don't have enough room to write. I can't put Rumpopolis. Dang it. Uh, uh, we'll we'll call it. 
<laughs> my god, I'm perfect. No, 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 no. This, it's so complicated, man. I'm not used to this. We're gonna call our town Meat Stick. <laughs> oh, come on! Alright, we'll do it this way. Meat Stick. <laughs> You're going the <to> Meat Stick. <laughs> That's right! Hey, I know that place. Meat stick is one of my favorite vacations. <laughs> so, what are you going to meat stick for? I'm moving. Hmm. Moving, huh? I hate moving. Pack boxes, unpack boxes, it never ends. Say, where's your new place? Uh, leave me alone. Don't, don't tell me you haven't found a place to let. I said leave me alone! <laughs> Of course you have. <laughs> what? You haven't? You can't just show up to no place to live. We better find you a pad fast. Oh, of course. Okay. A good friend of mine runs the shop in the meat stick. Let me give you a ring. You wait right here. I wonder if I go to the other cart, he'll notice that I'm not there. And he'll leave me alone. Beep boop beep boop. Hey there, Nick. It's me. So what's the good word? You raking in the cash? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's rough. Brutal. Well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to Meat Stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, completely. But the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a tight spot. The kid's name? Why, oh, uh, it's Benches. Oh um, yeah, today. So, you think you could help him out? Oh! Oh, really? Uh-huh. I see. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll pass the word on. So, we'll catch up later, right? Thanks a lot. See you, Dirk, my man. Bye. Can you, just, can you just leave me alone? Stop looking at me like that. Okay, I bet. Miss me, Maya? Well, good news for you. It sounds like my buddy has some brand new house for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Uh, just a little. Oh, really? No wonder you look so helpless. Hey, screw you, dude. But don't worry. These things have a way of working out. They say money makes the world go round. And what goes round comes around. Wait, I'm confused myself. Yeah, maybe because you're a cat. Oh, looks like we're about to pull it to meat stick. <laughs> did, did I mention I love this place? Remember things as bad as they seem. Honestly, good luck and all that. Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Well, goodbye. <sighs> that was an interesting train ride. But finally... Yeah. Meat Stick, now arriving at Meat Stick. Welcome to Meat Stick. Watch your step. Eek, eek! Huh. So this is Meat Stick. Excuse me. Hey, hey. Hey, you there. Yes, you. Did, did you talking to me? What's your name happen to be bitches? Good, good. I just now had a phone call about you. Hmm. I'm glad I made it here in time to beat your trade. I'm afraid I'm not the best shape of my life. But I ramble. My name is Tom Nook. I, uh, I run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you. Yes. Something strikes me as odd, though. My young friend moving to town before settling in a place to live. Why is the craziest thing I've ever heard? Madness. Absolute madness. Hmm. Oh. Don't laugh. Oh. <laughs> Pardon me. I beg you. That's just struck my funny bone. Now, don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you could move into right away. It should more than suit your needs. Hmm. 
I can show it to you now. So come along. Scuttle. I don't like this guy. He's, he, I just met him and he made fun of me and then now he's giving me a house. Here we are. Not too shabby, huh? I can mostly hardly recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside, really. I don't mind. Not in the least. After all, the doors don't have any locks. Just stand in front of them and has the A button to go inside. Okay. That one looks like it sucks. That one's got a yellow roof that looks like a folded piece of cheese. Don't even get me started on green. And that one looks like cheese, too. I'll go with the red roof. Take a good look aside. And please, bear in mind that it's a, it's a little, how you say, cozy, huh? Yeah, cozy. Why do I knock on the door if there's nobody that lives there? It makes no sense. <laughs> hmm. I was told about places like this. Two windows, a box, and a radio. Where I can question all of my life choices. Maybe I shouldn't have told my significant other to screw off. You know, maybe it was okay that she was screwing around with someone else. But hey, I didn't have to get that shovel. I didn't have to hurt anybody. But that's why I came to this town. To make a new name for myself. So I can make a new life. Where I don't have to bash in a cheating mofo in the face with a shovel. Things are coming up my way. Let's go talk to Nook. Well, what do you think? How was it, hmm? It's okay, I guess. Oh, really? Alas. Oh, well, take your time. Have a look at the others, why don't you? I don't want, I want, I want this one. That you, you, your nose is too close to my face. So, where will it be? Any one of these houses is a bargain. And they're all fully weatherproof, too. I'll take this one. I already, I, I, I said I, I don't want to go in there. Ugh. Too many wax with a wet noodle. Well, what do you think? I like it. You're quite sure this is the one you want? Here's good. Very well. It's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Betches. What a happy day for you. I'm certain. I tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio at no extra charge. I never could sell that thing in the shop. Now let me see. I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house, so listen carefully, please. As you can doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, quite a bit bare, I'm afraid. Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your house and stuff. But don't try to mess around with the other folks' things. Well, not that you can. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Nobody will know if it's just a Dutch stuff, you know, though. <laughs> you probably want to pop into your neighbor's houses and get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes. That weird thing over there by the front of the door. That would be your personal gyroid assistant. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyro will meet and greet them. It's truly a must-have. You can teach it mess. You can teach it messages, and then a little fellow will repeat it to your visitors. And that's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which can even give it, give or even sell to folk. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. But that's the only way for you to save everything that you did that day. It would be a shame to lose such things. If you quit playing without talking to her first, it'll be like everything you did that day never even happened. I can't imagine the worst fate. Please take extra care and never forget. I'd hate to see such a thing happen. <laughs> and that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. Did you get all that? Do you perhaps wish to hear it again? Uh, no thanks. Yes, well, I'm sure you'll settle into this particular life in due time. Don't worry. Now then, let's see. 
with the fees and closing costs of the house comes to 1900 and 800 bells. I, I only got a thousand. There you go. Yes. That would be not nearly enough. Why'd you lick your lips when I gave you my money? You only have a thousand bells. You joke with me, yes? Are oh, you so short? I can't help it but laugh. <laughs> hey, man, times is tough. You don't have to laugh at me. You know what happens to people who don't have money? Don't you? I'll tell you, they can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm. A thorny situation. Rather thorny. Then here's what we'll do. You can work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. Yeah, that's acceptable. Splendid. We're all... This will, this will work wonderfully. Now then. You have to come by my shop later. You can find my shop at the Acre A-4. You can't miss it. At least most of the people miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station. Yeah. I'm headed back then now, so I'll be waiting for you. I'd ask you to be quick about it coming. Yes? Well, that doesn't end well for me now, does it? Hmm. Well, what other journeys and what other adventures await for me in this new life? Apparently, I have a job now, and I'm out like 1800 bucks. Yep. This new place is gonna be all right. So I guess we'll call it here, and we'll see where the rest of this adventure of Animal Crossing goes. I'll tell you what, guys. This is, like I said, this isn't going to be a playthrough or anything like that. It's just going to be randomly. It's going to, I'm going to do a little random video of this every now and then. So, I will say, all I could say is, stay tuned. We'll see what happens with my adventures in Animal Crossing. Hopefully you enjoy it, and hopefully you have fun with it. Until then, guys. I've been Benches. This was Animal Crossing. I love all your faces. See you next time. See you later.